Today we're going to make a Barbie dress-up game in Scratch in honor of the Barbie movie, which I just went to see and loved. If you've never used Scratch before, see my previous Scratch tutorial. Let's take a look at the project. So this is the project. We can change the iconic Barbie shirt, pants or skirt, and the cute little pet. All right, we're going to start with a blank project. Here's our new project. We can rename this to Barbie Dress Up Game. And we can change the name of the sprite from Sprite 1 to Pet. We're going to add three buttons. So go to the Choose a Sprite option, search for a button, and choose a button. You can go over to Costumes and add some text for this button by clicking on the text. I'm going to make sure that my font will show up. So a nice black font saying shirt. And this button will help us change Barbie's shirt. You can position the font in the middle of your button. And we have to do this two more times, so I'll be back with you shortly. All right, now we need our iconic Barbie. Let me make some room by moving that pet out of the way. This time, instead of searching, we're gonna upload our own image. Take a look in the description and you will see a link to where you can find the doll body. And if you don't like this image, you can choose your own image to dress up. All right, let's move Barbie into a better location and give her a cool backdrop. I'm gonna look at the indoor backdrops and choose the hall. Looks nice. Now all these sprites need some code. Click on your first button and let's add some code. We're gonna go under events and say when the sprite is clicked and what do you want to happen? You want to broadcast a message. I'm going to call my message change shirt. Let's do a similar thing for the next button. When the sprite's clicked, we wanna broadcast a message. The message is gonna be change pants. Finally, we've got our third button. When the sprite's clicked, we wanna broadcast a message and the message is gonna be change pet. Let's work on the pet first. Click your pet sprite, go over to costumes, and we don't need two cat costumes. You can delete the second one, but we're gonna add a few other costumes. I'm only interested in cute little animals. I'll try a butterfly as one of my costumes, and then let's try a dog as a costume. Pick your favorite dog. You can add some more if you want. Jump over to your code tab and every time you receive the message to change the pet we want to change the look of this by going to our next costume test it out by going to the green flag and clicking on pet and you're going to see the cute pets we need two more sprites this time upload from the link in the description i'm going to start with a pink shirt and then place that over top of barbie's shirt one more sprite this time upload one of the skirts or the pants. It doesn't matter which one you start with, we'll be uploading all of them. Now we're gonna update the costumes and add a costume for each of the shirts or pants. And you can actually draw your own accessories or embellish mine. And now if I wanna know about where I can work, go to one of your previous skirts and you can copy it and paste it. And now we can paint over top of the skirt Pick whatever color you want, maybe red, and then we could do some stripes. And because I don't want this video to be too long, I'm not going to worry about making this perfect, but you can add your own drawings into Barbie's wardrobe. Jump over to that code tab and we're going to look at the event. When you have received a message saying change pants, you want to update to the next costume. We can try that out. Very good. One more button. We need to go ahead and go to that pink shirt. Right now I've only got one costume. Upload the other two shirts. All right, jump over to the code section. In the event that you've gotten a message that says change shirt, then you're going to update to the next costume. Let's test it out. I'm gonna try full screen, change shirts, change pants and skirts, and change pets. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified about future videos. 
If you've made something cool on Scratch, go ahead and put it in the comment section. I'd love to see it. I'll see you in the next video. Happy programming.